Hi, I'm Scott Olson. I'm the president of Winona State University, and this is the Laird Norton Center for Art and Design. It's amazing how the past can give a gift to the present, and how the present can give a gift to the future. If I had only one regret about this, it's that none of the founders of the Laird Norton Company, Matthew or James Norton or William H. Laird, could be with us to talk about the history of philanthropy in the family and talk about this gift and how it all began. Excuse me, did I just hear my name mentioned? You must be one of the founders of the Laird Norton Company, but which one? Well, you have a one in three chance, not bad odds. Do you care to venture a guess? I'm gonna go with William Harris Laird. Well done, sir. But who might you be? I'm Scott Olson. I'm the president of Winona State University. Winona State University? Well, back in 1858, it was known as Winona Normal School. And now it is a university. I am most impressed. But why are you speaking here, and who built this rather impressive edifice? Well, I'm here accepting this gift from the Laird Norton Company to Winona State University. Well, Mr. Laird, as long as you're here, would you mind sharing with us a few of your thoughts about the family, about its history of philanthropy, and about how it all began? I think I could offer some insights. Let's go visit in the boardroom. My brother Matthew and I arrived here in 1855, and in 1856 our cousins James and Matthew Norton joined them. Winona was already a thriving, growing little community. Well, the four of us, along with my brother John, who arrived here in 1852 when it still was an Indian encampment, decided that we would try to make our fortune as lumbermen. So Mr. Laird, would you please tell us more about your experiences here? Winona became our home and, like the city, we endured challenges and suffered growing pains, but we both persevered. And by 1900, Winona was a city with a population of almost 20,000 souls and a few heels. The three of us had raised families, prospered in business, and worshipped here. In 1862, we created Woodlawn Cemetery. We also established a library association. And as we became more successful through the years, our contributions grew larger and more significant. But the reason for those contributions remained consistent. And I think one of the best examples of how deeply we felt about literacy was my financing of the construction of a library for the city of Winona. The old building was a fire trap and it could no longer hold the growing collection. As I said in my letter when I presented the library to the city of Winona, I take great pleasure in making this gift to the city in which I have spent so many years and which is the home to so many of my friends. And I think that Matthew and James Norton would agree with that statement. How inspiring, Mr. Laird. I'd like to hear more about your family's contributions to Winona. I think one of the first places we focused our giving and our time is to our respective churches. I supported the Congregational Church, and there is a chapel named in our family's honor in that building. The Nortons supported Central Methodist Church, and they too have a chapel named in their honor in that church. So Mr. Laird, I understand your family was involved in even more projects in this community. The Masonic Lodge is an example of a group of us getting together to create a first-rate location for an organization that had many of the leading members of the community as its members. So, with the construction of this building, I think that the Laird Norton Company and other leading businesses in the city had created a neighborhood of sorts with buildings set aside for worship, business, learning, and fellowship, all within walking distance of our homes. Absolutely, Mr. Laird. And you know, as I was walking over here from Winona State University, I walked past many of those buildings you were just describing, and they are still thriving here in Winona today. We did not trumpet our generosity. There were no grand processions or parades. We gave based upon our beliefs and to make Winona a better place to live. And now, here we are today. Having come full circle in a sense, when Winona Normal School was first founded, the Laird and Norton families contributed some money and then would try to help students out and make them feel at home. And now, over 150 years later, we are offering a much more significant gift to this fine institution, a culmination of our efforts on behalf of Winona State University. 
But even though that bequest is much larger and a bit more substantial than inviting a hungry, homesick college student home for Sunday dinner, both of those gifts were made in the same spirit, out of a love for the city of Winona and our desire to continue giving and sharing quietly and humbly. Thank you, Mr. Laird. And on behalf of the whole Winona State University community, thank you, Laird Norton Company, and thank you, Laird Norton family, for this beautiful gift and for your abiding generosity.